Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Home of the Brave beta mod for Hearts of Divine 4. So, I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, but you already knew that. Right now, as you can see, we are the Constitutional American Republic with the American Union State here. The United States of America. The United States of America. And the United States of America. And the combined syndicates of America. So, as you can see, we uh, two other people popped out. Two other people popped out. And with the banner of the Republic. Now that we are independent, we must choose a banner that we fly against traitors. Many suggest we keep the current design. However, others insist on changing the flag to one more inspired by older America with a bonnie blue flag or even the Confederacy to appeal to the South and draw a likeness between our struggle and theirs. What shall we do? Do we keep the current banner, adopt the cross design, which looks kind of cool, or adopt the bonnie blue? Now, if you look up the history of the bonnie blue flag, apparently there was a republic or something about West Florida owning that, which was actually part of Louisiana or something like that. So, they actually had that flag themselves first. But I kind of like the, the current flag. It's not great. But I don't want to keep these other designs, maybe, maybe for something else. So, we'll keep the current flag. Not too bad. Uh, let's see, what do we got around here? We got Wycliffe Draper. We've got Ewig Booth. And that's what I was talking about earlier, or in the last episode. We got Charles Lindbergh, but he's got he's an air commander, too. Let's see, we've got some hidden sympathies with Simon Bolivar Buckner, Buckner Jr. Julian Lacorum Schley. He's also got some hidden sympathies, so. Some of these guys definitely do. Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Nathan Bedford Force III. Robert Lee Bullard. Virgil Effinger, Samuel Green, well, <clears throat> I wonder what organization he's a part of with his attire on. We've got William Shepard, a couple other guys around here, and Edwin Walker, who I believe, if I remember, was like the general from Texas. Anyways, as you can see, we have our front line moving. Well, why are you going all the way from St. Louis over here? Regardless, we're also trying to get some guys done, trying to get six more militia divisions into Kentucky. And we have Edward Amon. And then Georgia's patent leading the motorized. My goal, or just a good goal, would be for us to crush Washington, this Washington pocket, 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 and actually try to get rid or get the rest of North Carolina. I really, really want to get the rest of North Carolina. So, our goal is to get to Norfolk. If we can't get DC, whatever, so be it. But, but the federal government <clears throat> has to collapse. Am I talking about real life or am I talking about the video game? Anyways, regardless. What do we have here for us? Oh, a little bit more lag. Someone might just pop out. No, not yet. Okay, I'll we'll give it a little bit of time. And we're left with Murrah H. M William H. Murrah. I'll fall for Bill. And there's quite a few comments from yesterday's video saying that you'll never be able to get this monetized. If I go with <clears throat> a certain group that has a certain letter of K three times, uh, I won't get this uh, monetized. At the time of this recording, that first video still is because it's Herbert Hoover. No one wants to demonetize Herbert Hoover, but the PSA offer speaks. The Pacific States of America has decided to recognize that we are the victors of the 1936 election and that, therefore, they are willing to ally us. However, we will be constrained by many of their laws, including the Constitution that most old Democrats feel has been perverted for nearly 100 years to serve the interests of cosmopolitan bankers, Jews, and leftists. As such, virtually all of our cabinet advised against the bill claiming that it would leave Murrah without any legitimacy, unless we told them it was, on, it was conditional on them joining the CAR, which is essentially another way to reject the deal while making them appear the unreasonable aggressor. Uh, let's see. Our offer de been declined. We get more war support, which I do like. Make the d demands. I don't care what the captain says. I accept. Now, that sounds like a very interesting path. We'll make the demands, so... Cool. Crown grows. Not all Americans are either apathetic or deeply invested in one of the ideological factions fighting for victory. Some opportunists have come onto the scene and gained some serious power from the nation's weakness. Criminals have gained power from resources being spent on the military and internal services, taking advantage of the chaos to do what they want, including stealing, racketeering, and worse. All they simply are draining on us, and we need to deal with them soon. Criminal scum? I don't like criminal scum, but feds hit harder. Federalists have gained more support in communication with one another in our area, hitting our caravans more frequently, harder, and more effectively, targeting small squads of our of our internal police and military when they can, leaving their bodies to be found later. We desperately need to end this. Tyrants. Minutemen attack. The Minutemen have been increasing their coordination between themselves and the AFP, raiding the supply lines with increasing in with increasing infrequency, murdering and mutilating our low-ranking officials and torturing captured officers for information that passed between themselves. The now attacks on its centuries have likewise seen widespread fear amongst the troops, with farmers increasingly viewing them as viable contenders in the American Civil War more and more, agreeing to hide their supplies out of either genuine support or fear, and unemployed men are dodging our recruitment efforts as AFP propaganda is directing them to do so. Find them. And anarchist violence spreads. Anarchist violence has reached a tipping point as the campaign grows increasingly violent frenzied along to the numbers. With the Red Guard, and especially the so-called Galenist collectivist wings, endorsing ever more extreme measures of the propaganda of the deed, middle and upper class districts are being bombed, priests and even smaller businessmen are being shipped 
time explosives and starts to bring fire to factory owners. While some socialist politicians, especially pacifists in the CSA, decry this as the rest are either silent or supportive, but are cries of the CSA being a terrorist state means little it means little next to the damage they're doing. Animals. So well, I'm pretty sure I said this already, but I didn't realize this was this actual civil war part. This like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight if you include Hawaii. What is it? Alaska going to do? But regardless, I don't know. Is it already in Kaiser Redux? And I never actually featured on the channel, and I've never actually played on my own time, so I didn't know that when I did this. So, uh, ooh, actually we got some political power. That ooh hit the Federalist militants. Well, attack the Red Guards and the Minutemen first. And hello there, Western Command. Omar Bradley, huh? This is where we got nine desperate defender, nine percent entrenchment. Speed, Division Defense, 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 huh? Oh, they're actually a puppet of the U.S. That's interesting. I gotta re I gotta play Kaiser Redux someday. The mod. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, what is this? Old K Victory, huh? Oh, I need to get D.C. Stevenson to be leading the country. Erase the young ones. <clears throat> oh, the Black Legion. That sounds kind of cool. Cult of the Chief. I don't even know who this is. The Covenant? Oh, there's so many options. The Lord. Ooh, I kind of like the Lord. The Holy Church of Zion. Um, New Pacifism? Unite the Lost. Oh. The Holy Land, eh? Anyways. Expand the Guard. More stability and manpower. Cart Baggers and Scalawags. Lower resistance levels? I like that. Let's go with not this one, but this one first. So, well, criminals and soldiers within the white communities continue to sabotage us without end. The New Democratic Security uh, League were a group from our most trustworthy supporters in the National Guard, military, and white leagues. They'll focus on countering wealthier elements of society used to bribing their way out of trouble from coordinating with radicals and criminals, starting with unpatriotic capitalists. Now, get rid of that resistance. Oh, Chief of Staff, with the, end, with the Civil War looming, an emergency meeting on the leaders of the ODP and the NDWL in Atlanta found President Murray having to choose between three quarreling candidates for the position of Chief of Staff. George Van Horn Mosley is by far the most experienced of the three and is favored by the forwards and respected number of more mainstream ODP members. However, most of the ODP and the NDWL fear not giving, giving Ford too much influence and have put forth New Jersey Clan Grand <clears throat> Dragon Arthur Horn Hoy Bell. As their choice for the Chief of Staff, the old clan and Black Legion factions in the White Leagues, however, have their doubts on, about L Bell's ideological commitment and have been aggressively arguing their own Virgil Burt Effinger is best suited for the job. I like artillery the most, to be honest with you guys. Bill, I like infantry and more population too, though. I really love artillery. Like, that's my bread and butter, man. Ooh. Hmm. I guess it's a lot more ideological, though, with what's going on. I don't really care who we choose too much, though. Bell gives us more organization recovery, which is great. And this guy gives us more attack and defense for infantry and more population. So I like that as well, so. Um, I'm not sure this is really going to affect anybody later on. I, I really don't care who we play on later on, so. At least for this campaign. Well, I guess Murray will be super important, but maybe we'll keep him, maybe not. Uh, we can, I love artillery, actually, factory-wise. We're making quite a few factories, actually. And if I could throw on a lot more guns and artillery, that'd be great. Wow, we, we need a lot of things. Um, really, artillery is a way forward, so... I always use that, though. So, favored by the Fordists. Van Horn. Mosley is favored by the Fordists. I can't believe we get Ford in here. Well, mm, New Jersey? Well, New Jersey isn't with us right now, so we're going to go with Virgil. Screw it. I'm going to do someone else that we didn't have. True to the U.S., despite our dislike of the anti-ODP and anti-NDWL... MacArthur's regime, we are clearly at a disadvantage now that the CSA and AUS have signed a peace treaty due to the Theodore Bilbo has drawn up 200 days plan which will grant us 200 day non-aggression pact with the US before we supposedly negotiate a different deal where they peacefully recognize their superiority. They fall now? They actually signed a peace treaty? You know what? We'll do the same thing. Serbia? Oh, okay, Serbia. Too bad we didn't get all of North Carolina. So we got four days left, which is totally fine. Fourth Balkan War. Whatever. The U.S. accepts. The United States government has accepted the ceasefire, though, given the reluctance, it seems unlikely we can maintain it after the ceasefire date. Well, if that's the case, hmm. I really don't want to have a two-front war. But this is not going to be good now, is it? Now, I'll let you guys come over here against American Union State. Guess we can't get North Carolina yet. So, they have a ceasefire, huh? And we did get out the CSA. That would put us a two-front war. If we fight the American Union State, 
we got all this territory to cover, but we can probably start integrating some of these states after they've been under us for a while. And actually, I do want to... Hmm, having you guys... Give me one of you guys. The Founders Davis, the good old boys. Give me the Loyal Ghost. That sounds pretty cool. You guys come over here, actually. Hang out, because I need a group to actually help defend and take people out. Uh, I want to take Louisiana quickly. But I don't think we'll be able to over this river. But since you guys are not going to be over there for 200 days, we might be able to take out Louisiana first. Maybe. Actually, it might be worth taking out Little Rock. Because I want the CSA and the American Union State to kill each other. Oh, and before I forget, ships. We got nine ships. Uh, William Halsey Jr., yes, please. Actually, just go ahead and have, have everyone repair. And come right there. Chief of the Army. With the Civil, Civil War looming, the fact that we don't have a Chief of Army is prompted concern among various political and military leaders. Communication continued after choosing the Chief of Staff to appoint a Chief of Army to win the war. Uh, let's see, George Patton. He's already leading. We're going to go with that guy. He's already leading. I'm not even going to bother with that. We did take all the divisions from you, so all but one, two. Go right there. I just let them hold the line. That's how I usually do the, the Civil War here. I let people hold the line first, and we'll grab... Let's grab Missouri, since it could be taken away from us. Actually, how do we not have Tennessee? Um, Initial control of the area settled. has been settled, huh? Well, maybe it has to just begin first. I don't know. That seems very odd. Looking good against the CSA. I mean, I don't mind fighting a two-front war, but that's pretty difficult. So, Chief of the Air Force. The Civil War looming. The fact we now have a Chief of Army is prime to concern among various political and military leaders. Communication continued after choosing the Chief of Army to appoint a Chief of the Air Force to win the war. Burt Hall. I don't ever use pair drops. Charles Lindbergh. Martin James Monty. It only makes sense we go with Charles Lindbergh. And Southern Governors meet in Atlanta. A large crowd gathered recently outside the State House in Atlanta to congratulate President Murray for defying the federal government. When the governors arrived, the press only saw the image of the defined America determined to fight the illegitimate powers of a federal corruption and cynical suppression. However, not all Southern governors were in attendance. Governor James A. Allred of Texas sided with Huey Long, and Governor Bob Bibb Graves refused to side with the Constitutionalists, something that had driven him out of his home state by clan line militias. The local governors are now meeting with Murray inside the State House to determine the proper response to the federal government's deadline. Well, Dixie, I guess we march. 101 factories ain't bad. I have a few plans here, too. Could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Oh, and Ottomans go on Bulgaria. Second declar declaration of independence. Murray, <clears throat> along with many of his allies and clan allied militia, declared that America was a dead nation. Along with his speech, he blamed many things for America's downfall, such as the establishment, selling out to Republican industrialists, Catholic votes, Jewish money, and Washington bureaucrats, and that MacArthur's blame disrespect for the American tradition was a nail in the coffin. As the speech ended, he declared the need to resist the traitors and declared that the constitutional American Republic would return America to the greatness of the Jacksonian era. Down with the eagle. Jacksonian era, that sounds like fun. Western Command. Are you still. A, are they, do they stay a puppet? That's not cool. Why do they stay a puppet? What? No. That's not cool. Spread yourselves out if you need to. Uh, five in Alabama. Alabama, thank you. We still need to hit those Federalist militias, but, you know, whatever. Not sure why we started in civilian economy, though. That that definitely does not make any sense. Alright, here we go, boys and girls. Or probably just boys. Oh, wait. Did... Hold on. You didn't go to war with us, right? American Union State has war goals against them. Are we actually fighting them? Oh, no, we're not. It seems like we're all on the same side. Constitutional American Republic... The United States of America and the Western Command Center. So, Constitutional American Republic convenes, or Congress convenes. Through the grapevine, dozens of congressmen have heard of William H. Murrah Assembly in Atlanta. Some came to wish the president well and stayed, others simply to court favor with the revolution. These meetings in Atlanta began to take on a congressional appearance with Talmadge standing as the president of the, of the attending senators, or the growing determination to defy the federal government. And that this lack of willingness to negotiate meant civil war was all but certain. A large number of politicians have slinked away to the north, though those that remain seem more determined than ever to see victory. They'll get theirs. Oh yeah, we can do all this stuff too. Forgot about that. Cool. So we have only a certain amount of time before we have to actually cover that line too. So we got 10 more factories. Immediately put them on here. We got enough steel. That's that's, that's going to be really good, actually. Really, really good. Uh, and get more artillery and get some more motorized as well. And then a lot more guns. Good lord, we need a lot of guns. Uh, what are you guys... Just 
sitting there. Oh, Russia and the German Empire wants to help out. Yeah, why not? All right, guys. If you guys could just like stroll on down there, that'd be that'd be real swell immediately. Oh, you both are up there. That sucks. Are they attacking us? Is anyone? No, they're not attacking. Okay. Hey, you know what? I love the American Union State or uh, Constitutional American Republic. Yeah. Black intellectual spread propaganda. As chunks of the Black Belt grow de facto autonomous due to heavy resistance, we have received reports of black organizers entering black strongholds. After being sent by prominent intellectuals in the factions, notably W.E. Du Bois, UNIA, and the Nation of Islam, the black syndicalists and civil rights activists on the ND NAACP, they are apparently aiding in the organization of a new government for the relative safety of a far slipping by our defenses. Gosh darn it. There we go. If I can cut off Louisiana immediately, that would be... That'd be pretty nice. Now, obviously, they sell Houston, but still. Oh, wait, I thought they had a... Did they not have a peace treaty? They said the CSA and the American USA had a peace treaty, but hey, they don't. Fine with me. Let's go and expand the guard, though. The ODP has been heavily reliant on its National Guard as a source of manpower rather than the more <clears throat> ambitious white leaguers. We should fuel the building blocks of our military base by expanding recruitment into the guard through a youth campaign and a small hike in the gas line excise tax to help pay for it. We welcome Alabama's soldiers into the ranks. Hey, Tennessee, you're ready, ready to go, but North Carolina, it's time to do it. Time to tally-ho. At this point, actually, can we just do all this? It should be one united... Yep, there we go. That's good. I like a united front. It makes it so much nicer. So much nicer. Deadline looms. As the federal government's deadline looms, it's become clear there will be no budging on either side. Across the part of the country controlled by long supporters, an, arm, an army formed of militia and the Minutemen have been raised in a growing determinism or determination to see the country remade by force has taken hold. The federal government, in turn, has also made it clear that they no longer see a path to compromise. It's only a matter of time to we go to war them now. I thought we had a 200-day poke. Like, told them. Fight for America, of course. Mass. Ugh. Oof. Coordinated minimum. Federal resistance. Mob activity. They're fighting for the car. I love cars. As long as we can cover our bases, that's all I care about. Let these guys kill each other off. That's all I care about. And actually, let, yeah. Canada got involved. Hey, hey, buddies. Yeah, Finland. Huzzah. Protect our goods. And raid enemy goods. Okay, so we cut off New Orleans. Great. Can we, can we literally just stroll into New Orleans right now? That would be so cool if we could. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Actually, they have no organization. You, you go straight for Nolans immediately. Oh, they, oh, that could have been very bad for us. Help them out, help them out. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your whole effort. So, our division, they have up to 48, so 46, up to 81, up to full. You know, that's actually kind of weird. The CSA doesn't have the most amount of soldiers. The American Union State does. Hmm. Uh, actually, do we have upgrades for our guys? Oh, offensive, yeah. You guys, guerrilla fighter, man. Eh, that stuff is okay. Patton. Off. Um, we're using only these guys for now. Eventually, we will be using tanks. We're gonna be using motorized and mechanized. I almost never do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But we can't do it since we don't have command power. Awesome, 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 awesome. Send half you guys. Let's see, that's four right there. The other guys also go. Thank you, North Carolina. Love, love, love that North Carolina. One, two. Jackson's dudes and Kentucky militia. Not bad. Yeah, there might be a hole here, but whatever. Oh, look at that. And we'll go film under William Shepard because he's a pretty good defender. Anything else? Oh, please let us take these guys. Please. That'd be so good early on. Yes, Jeremy, yes. Edward. Nothing here, no, 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 no. Not very worth it. Oh, and they're attacking us too. You know, if they don't want to defend the ca I mean, if they don't want to defend the capital, great. I love it. Oh, they're starting to attack us here. They can even attack us here too. White League Defense Request Army Promotions. Leaders of the National Democratic White League have requested greater presence of the military to reflect their importance. While inexperienced, who will attempt to rile up more members to join the military and donate funds and arms to the cause. Despite their own views, even the old Democrats find this a tricky decision to make, as some feel as they are too ambitious for their own goods. No? You know what? They can only do well for us right here, but I'll be right back, because I'll see you in just a little bit. My apologies about that, but 
how to use the restroom. So, it doesn't look like we're doing too well over here, doesn't it? But over here, New Orleans, we're doing great. We're doing real great. Casualties. Oh, can't even evoke the war measures, Zach. Oh, boy. But we've lost about a thousand so far. They lost hmm, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, Ammon. Ammon? I say Almond. Almond. Second like international. Interesting. <gasps> the Fall of Nolans. The Union stronghold has fallen immediately. I love it when they can't even guard their own bases. Day three, Hemingway's speech. The cynicalist delegate to the Second International Congress, Ernest Hemingway, has today given a speech, condemning our actions against the CSA and calling for intensified support for the Reds in the war. We must redouble our efforts and crush three before he receives any additional help onwards. Um, I don't think we even had a battle yet, did we? Oh, look at this. What's happened? <gasps> we sunk an American... An American convoy. We ain't at war yet, though. It's weird that they, that they didn't get... I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, we need more guns. As an American... I can always say, we need more guns. <laughs> four, four, four. Louisiana, thank you. Thank you very much. Take whole 12 days. Please kill these guys off. Please, 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 please. I need you right there. You should be able to kill off two militia division, right? Oh, you know, province of China. So where's the capital next? Oh, it's Dallas. That would make sense. It's Dallas. Well... It's, it's, it's kind of weird not seeing Nevada with those guys over there. But whatever. Oh, we got him. Nice. You guys did a great job. A little costly, but a great job. Um, head on over here real, real quick. Oh, crap. NDWL expansion. Since the promotions of the NDWL is gaining increasing numbers among soldiers and new recruits, give them widespread influence over the military. Increasingly, they're used using this to pressure old Democrat Party members in the Senate to sign up for the NDWL and are pushing for our forwardist allies from their influence by handing out military contracts to the NDWL supporting businesses and states. Most shockingly, even captains of the National Guard are switching their allegiance despite technically answering to the old Democratic Party governors. It's clear that William Joseph Simmons is gathered in support to become the leader of our republic, but to demote them would damage war effort at this point. Of course, expanding their influence would anger the black population we are attempting to keep a lid on at the moment. Not much we can do? Disallow it? I know I don't want the thing to pop out, the Black Republic, because that would be really bad for our war efforts. But <laughs> you never know. You guys are gonna race up that way. I'm gonna have you guys. Uh, I need you guys up here too. Because American Union State, they doing okay. Just like our ships, they're doing a great job. Get any little bit of experience, maybe? Maybe not. Bur Burmese syndicalism? Well, that's not good. Expand the guard. And tax commi commissars. Commissioners. With the creation of our state, there's a demand for revenue, but none of no one wants to provide it. Many territories we lack we are a stronghold are attempting to weasel out any payments, either out of greed or spy. Rather than raise taxes on our own loyal citizens, we should expand the training and recruitment of tax commissioners to make sure every cent that should be paid will be. Not a bad idea. Uh, Mississippi, thank you. Then Georgia, thank you. I'm glad we took out those guys. Simmons calls for a convention. Uh, J William Joseph Simmons and the NDWLs call for a special convention to allow him for himself to be appointed head of the military operation and the de facto commander in chief of the nation. He has acknowledged the ODP as allies and says the current president will be rewarded for the loyalty via political military appointments, but states that the NDWL is still the future of America and their empowerment is necessary to save America from left radicals, liberals, and their duped. <clears throat> <clears throat> black supporters. With the backing of Hiram Wesley Evans' clan, D.C. Stevenson's various white leagues and terrorist groups, Armstrong's and the Christian Identitarian's endorsement, and even many ODP members are no longer resisting, it is clear he will be appointed commander-in-chief. While the Constitutional American Republic does not exactly allow for this as a head of the nation is currently in power with virtually unlimited autocratic powers, the ODP does not have the stability needed to hold its ground to oppose the clan political machine that would be the end of the Republic. Well, oh, at first I thought we joined someone else, but okay. All right, all right. Let these guys kill each other off for West Virginia. Dutch elections. Who cares about the Dutch elections right now? Where did our volunteers go to? That's going to be a long way to Dallas. Honestly, it'd be easier to take out Chicago. Actually, it's probably easier to take out Chicago, to be honest with you guys, at this point. Because even though we'll fight the American government, the actual federal government, soon enough, the illegitimate government... Going up to Chicago wouldn't be too bad if Simmons was elected. William Joseph Simmons has been elected as head of the Constitutional American Republic's government via the delegate system, although the current president still enjoys a symbolic status as the founder of the nation. It's clear that he and the NWDL is running the show now. So be it. Um, uh-oh. What did I do? Who are you? Simmons. 
American Emperor. Well, uh, you know, it is what it is. Not sure what else to say, except I want more divisions from Georgia. Awesome, awesome Georgia. Oh, we can't do that one. Oh, crap. Now this is, things have gone on. So, I guess we're not going to keep this guy. My bad. Legacy. Oh, I should I should have kept it with him. With him. Yeah, Jacksonian dominance? That sounds so cool. Maybe next time, though. The Invisible Empire. The National Democratic <clears throat> White League has seized power after the old Democratic traditionalists proved unable to provide the leadership needed for white Americans. True Americans will be rescued from the hordes they now threaten them at all costs. Cool. Well... So we need to join the Reich Pact if you want to be interested in that. Actually, I forgot. We got planes. Now, I know I said that this would be a campaign for Mr. Falafel Waffle Murrah. But, you know, things happen. Now we should be winning this. Yeah, I definitely want to take out Chicago then. But we do got Nolans, and hopefully we'll, we can integrate Louisiana soon enough. Actually, what is our integration like right now? Civilian oversight? American Union State? Is there no way for us to integrate them any faster? Huh. Invisible Empire. Revive nativism. Absorb the white caps. Hey, white is it like follow up? White caps? Hmm. Is there any other focuses we could do as well? I kinda wanna do like stuff for the American army as well. The National Army. So far the only force the ODP has commanded has been small time militias. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and army groups have deserted to join the real American government, adapting our previous forces and hierarchy to these newcomers should be our priority. Alright, so with us getting... Oh, hello. The banner of the Republic. Now that we're independent, we must choose a banner we fly against traitors. Some of our members identify with the current flag and wish to keep it as it is. Simmons of the NDWL largely wish to see a red flag, however. And this would be more representative of the... the <clears throat> clan symbolism. What should it look like? Well, we can keep this banner when we actually play as... Mura for now, but Second American Republic. This is getting wild, man. Wow, we are Peru now. Social militia stumble. The Red Guard militias have seen a fall in support recently as their militias continue to suffer from crackdowns and low recruitment rates. Politically fence-sitting workers are increasingly viewing us. The future industrial sabotage is falling. Wonderful. Good enough. Wonderful. Why would you choose the other one? I don't know. That wouldn't make any sense. South Carolina, next up, please. Not bad. Federal resistance, coordinated Minutemen, minor socialist resistance is not bad. All right, so I'm waiting for these guys to finish down here. Anarchist resistance rises. Anarchists have caused even more problems for us in recent days as they're targeting our supply lines, especially our industrial production. And our supporters are becoming in intimidated by the increased numbers and aggressiveness. Our politicians and wealthier supporters in particular are fearful of the violent reprisals and pot shots taking a hat at them. But even others are not safe when anyone, as anyone, a place of business seen as a petite bourgeoisie collaborators are declared targets of the Red Guards and other CSA-affiliated groups. We must end this anarchist wave of violence. Fanatical madman. Well, that sucks. They really don't, they really want Louisiana back, don't they? Well, they ain't gonna get it back then. Actually, we cut most of them off. They still have a port in Dallas, but still. I'm just worried about the Americans, the federal government, actually, I should really say the federal government, doing stuff against us. Uh, we're doing fairly okay. I mean, no one else is really attacking us. I'd love to attack over here, but there, there's a lot of defenses, and we got a lot of militia. It's not really worth attacking with militia, but we could try it, maybe, like here. Push up, was this Indiana or something? Yeah. Chicago's not that far away. Chilean Argentina War. Hey, not bad. And how many factories we got? We're working on more. That's good, good, good. Artillery's looking a little better already. Oh, and that's what I wanted to see. A little bit of lag, but oh well. How are we looking around here? Not too much experience. Y'all can go ahead and repair if you want to. Yeah, they, they really want to kill our divisions off. Do we actually take this part? Not no, yet, not yet, not yet. Come on up. Help them out, help them out. More divisions. Oh, we actually made the actual three divisions that I want to use. Nice. Very nice. I guess it's four. I guess we could do... Maybe cut one off for now? Eh, it doesn't really matter to me too much. I want to build up a massive thing of artillery, though. Or tanks. Either one, really. Florida? Florida it is. What are we making that we're not using? Interwar cars, light tanks, that's fine. 
Oh, they're really hurting us here. How how long is this battle? Courtney Hodges, you are you are nuts. Did we actually win here? Yeah, we did. We actually did win. Nice. We'll probably attack here next. National Army. Mosley Reform Plan. Well, Draper Plan. Mass Assaults Patent Strategy. Well, since we do have Patent, I think it would be good to use him. As much as I love... Ooh, Artillery Defense. Superior Firepower. Which way are we going? Do we... Oh, we are technically are going Superior Firepower. Ooh. Well, I should have chosen this one, actually. But since we are going superior firepower, I guess we have to go with McNarney's tactics. Joseph McNar McNarney has a solution to our economic woes by focusing firepower via artillery and fortifications. Even the Mosley is kind of a similar thing. It's actually a grand battle plan, though. Well, this feels like I've messed up in the campaign a little bit, but whatever. We're still going to have a good time, no matter what the cost. And actually, it'd be good to attack here, just because there's a river I can defend from there as well. And send you guys up here, too. There you go. Even without air superiority, or even air coverage, because we needed it down here, we're doing okay. I have a feeling we have a, we're taking time bombs as well, because we have a lot of disenfranchised African Americans down here, and they're not going to like what we've done with the place. <laughs> Just saying. Black taxation? Some members of the ODP and the NW, NDWL are pushing it as to increase our taxation of black neighborhoods in the war effort, arguing that their loyalty is tenuous to the new state and that their disloyalty to the gods and their challenges to our social structure resulted in the war. As such, ODP member John E. Rankin and, and NDWL leaders are requesting that we use the resources for the war and its retribution, use it before it is used against us. Of course, the other NDP, ODP members and military advisors against us, noting we cannot afford to anger the black population, as riots and black militias would be massively damaging to our war effort instead of suggesting we should respect their relative autonomy in their own little neighborhoods for now. It's time to pay it up. Um, as edgy as I would like to be, I was go with a dangerous suggestion. Yeah, uh, let's not get too nuts about this stuff right now. We have a war to win. That's the most gosh darn important thing we got to do. I'm gonna put you ne near Indianapolis because I'm not sure where to send you. Yeah, I would Damocles Project. Cool. I would really love to send my motorized or motorized division and bust through there, cut off Ohio, let the Feds do all the damage, let them take Pennsylvania. And beat him up that way, but we can't really do that right now since our guys are really just struggling down here too. So, Ooh. car infantry, huh? Can't make him twenty combat with, but we don't have enough guns. <sighs> Big sadness. We don't have, don't have enough of anything. They really just want to kill. What is wrong with you, Huey Long? I know you love Louisiana. I know you love New Orleans. But my, wow, that's a lot more manpower. Look at that. They sell 100, up to 104 divisions, but Jesus Christ. Oh, they, they don't have dockyards? Then what is this? No dockyard. It's a port. Disperse industry. Nice. Construction. Let's grab some improved machine tools. And uh, it's 37. We can't quite grab that stuff yet. How much support equipment do we have? 56. It might be worth putting some mil military police on our guys. But Ar artillery. Yeah, we got to get more artillery since I guess we're kind of emphasizing it from here on out, so... My goodness. How do you not have more upgrades than what you have right now? It's just one long old bat. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Uh, I want to throw you guys on the line over here, but... Uh, hmm. It's such a good opportunity to attack up here. Because even if we take, like, the area next to Chicago, they say... Oh, my. Is, is that the American Union say pushing? Or, oh, maybe they signed a peace treaty with those? Oh. Hmm. You know what? putting you over here too. You know why? Because you're going to help me cut these guys off. They cannot be allowed to live. One, two, three. That cut them completely off and ruin everything in New York City, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio. That would really hurt them. Industrial contacts would not be bad. Shell support though. We got to get this. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Additional shelling of the enemy could give our boys time to crack their formations while they're still recovering. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Push on the front. Oh, I re I would really weaken minimum resistance. Well, if we just well, I guess we would probably still have this resistance, even if we destroyed the enemies. So, organized socialist resistance. You know, since they're already pretty weak, I guess we could do that one. That seems to make sense, right? My goodness. The fighting down here in Louisiana, it's got to be just brutal. In August, 
Oh my goodness. Fighting in Louisiana in August? Are you nuts? That sounds just so terrible. See how hot and humid it is? What happens if you have a, hu a hurricane come in and just like wipe everyone else out? Oh, actually, I threw all you guys down here. Um, You guys can help reinforce... Like, literally help reinforce the area down here first. That's fine. Alright. Some of you guys are quite inexperienced. And that's okay. Splitting a group into two is something I really didn't want to do. But it's a necessary evil. Spirit power power. Good. Next up. Delay Doctrine, because it's basically the, just the default doctrine I use for support equipment or land doctrine, I mean, support equipment, what am I talking about? Uh, wow, well, actually, there's a lot of support for autocrats. Maybe Murray will come back. That'd be kind of cool if we could get her back. Fighting Louisiana, though, my goodness. It's hot enough. What? Germany? What are you doing? Oh, boy. Now we've done it. We've severely damaged, hopefully, the wool efforts. Pittsburgh will be there. And also someone did tell me that they would help me out with the pronunciation of that one word that I could not pronounce correctly in Pennsylvania. Allegheny. Allegheny. Al Allegheny. I really wonder if I can get this monetized still, since we're going down a certain clannish route. Clannerinos. Papa Clan. Clan Daddy. Even though I would imagine, like, through this lake... They would still be sending supplies from Michigan all the way down to Ohio. To, that's like Erie, I'm pretty sure, so. They're still a bunch of crazies. If the infantry would like to help out, go right ahead. The treaty comes... Oh, crap. Um, as a ceasefire with the USA comes to an end, it is fairly clear that both of us expect the other to bend the knee to the other at some point. As there are increasing border skirmishes between us in preparation for the battle, it's time to attack to before they do. Attack? Well, bad word, bad word, bad word. That's why I guess I get ready to you guys, too. Do we have any more divisions we can have? Treaty comes from an end. I'm not going to click on that yet. Um, Federalists. Oh, we're done building. No, we're not. We ain't done building that stuff yet. Nope, nope, nope. Even more. More, 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 more. We'll never have enough. If that's the case, ooh, actually go and repair too. That's fine. Pop them out. We need them immediately. Head on down. Head on down. You'll be fine without these guys. You can take their place for now. I, I didn't really remember when things were going to go like that, but shall support. Counter fortifications. Construction speed, more artillery, counter armaments. I like this one. For those attempting to defeat us in the realm of technology, we need to counter their armaments with specialized firearms. Good, good, good. And they still be attacking. Oh, the PSA is doing a great job. i got to play as a PSA someday. But if I ever play as a PSA, it'll be probably base Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux, just because i got to have a Disney Empire, man. If you play as a PSA, why can't you not? Why would you not be able to do that? Oh man, we might be able to get all of North Carolina back under us. Germany, please. Germany, please stop attacking into the mountains of West Virginia. Please. Alright, here we go. I want to take Norfolk. I'm glad we don't see a lot of enemy divisions right here. We could even get Richmond, which would be an amazing thing. I doubt we can get DC, but hey, you know what? Or there's a will, there might be a way. More convoys go bye bye. Oh my god, attacking. Oh, they're actually attacking us too. Nice. Yeah, that's that's pretty hard to defend. But our soldiers are gonna be strong and do what they must. Richmond. At least take Richmond. Yeah, there they go Switzerland. Actually, you can get back up. No, you can really do that to that. That's fine. If we can cut them off, keep these guys here for now, actually. We Go up there. Uh, mm, you guys go there. To, oh, at least we got Richmond. Keep these guys in place. Maybe we can cut them off. Maybe not, you know. Now on the Western Command. Declare, oh, hello. Um, no, you guys head on down there. Okay, so how many casualties have we inflicted on the, the American... That, oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of dead Americans. Oh, man, just popped my ankle, too. Let the infantry hold. Let the militia go. That'll be okay. That'll be all right. You up out there? Oh, what? Excuse me, sir. We already took this tile. If you like this tile, um, we up. Go ahead and come back here then. 
That's alright. We can quite encircle them, that's okay, as long as we don't lose anywhere on the line. That's my greatest fear. Even if the PSA comes over, let the American Union State still try to fight them. Hello. Who's attacking? Guys. Guys, dude. Allies, or volunteers. These are mountains. You don't attack in the mountains. Please. <laughs> so these guys aren't losing anything yet, huh? I thought they would. Oh, uh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. These folks ain't looking too hot. Hotterino, they would say. Cincinnati is, of course, still ours. And actually, I've been in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We can resistance from Minivan. That'd be good. Two divisions, huh? They, they will be attacking. But at least we got Richmond. I actually like that. We gotta get back Hawaii, too. Jesus Christ, guys. Here we long. What are you doing? You're just as bad as my volunteers. Oh, do you have a... Huh. Well, that got me to shut up. Uh, counter fortifications. We need to prepare our attack from a place of advantage. Fortifying our position will allow for our firepower support to do additional damage for longer. More land for construction speed. Toy artillery. Thank you very much. Guns. We need more guns. Guns. Infinite guns. Let it rain guns from the heavens. Gandhi? Oh, you actually, actually plays Gandhi. Oh, actually. Hmm. Gandhi. Gandhi's in the game. Oh. We should play Gandhi someday. And then again, there's only so much time. How are the shippies? Shippies looking a little damaged here and there. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. If you want to do that, that's fine with me. Go right ahead. Guys, I... I didn't, did, did we not give them the memo that attacking would be kind of stupid right now? I think we did give them the memo. Um... Where are I throw these guys? At this point... I mean, we can have... I mean, we could... Mm, we could do this... I have just one mammoth front line, probably. Probably a really bad idea. No, that's probably a really bad idea. Let's be real. That's a really bad idea. So we still have you guys here doing what you need to do. And Mr. Mr. Nut. He's doing alright. How are the plans? Mexico's joined the Third International. Well, that's not good for anybody except the Third International. Got a good amount of these guys, too, doing a good job. How much XP we got? 281. I just realized that. Wow. Oh, and Aust Austrian Empire. Hello there, Austrian Empire. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your assistance on the guns. And... Nepal's gone. Rebellion in... Ye it always seems Yemen is always on fire. What's going on with the Yemeni people? Then again... I think it's still on fire to this current day. Don't hold me on that one. I could be wrong. But I think they're still on fire, too. Oh, crap. They're attacking down here, huh? Oh, Mashriki Kingdom, and there goes Egypt, or Cairo Pact. Good luck with that. I'd rather not play you right now. Oh, yeah. Are they actually beating us up here? Holy crap. Anything else? The Federal Front, Syndicalist Front, Longest Front, Pacific Front. I don't think we need to do the Pacific Front. I'm just saying. Black Belt grows increasingly unstable. The Black Belt is a southern territory that has grown re relentless or restless under our government. They are growing increasingly unstable in the recent weeks, with the Black Resistance groups doing hit-and-run tactics with an ODP soldiers to the point where some in the area are simply too dangerous to enter for individual NDWL members. As such, our supply lines are being weakened, we shall crush these terrorists. Oh crap, that is not good. If that's the case, I'd love to do a full-scale attack. So we might as well try it. At least one, right? Can we actually attack here and win? We might not be able to. This is a mountain or hills? It's a hill. That gives me a little bit more confidence, but still. Cause, oh, they're even attacking here. I mean, our, our line isn't great. It's not bad, it's just not great. Send in some more militia down here. Um, We really have no... I, I really need my soldiers back. These guys, why? Why do you hate us? I'm going to go ahead and maybe put you somewhere else, maybe. Counter fortifications, that's nice. Counter operations, sure, why not? Striking while the enemy is weak is paramount to maximizing damage. We shall prepare arms to deflect their best attempts against us so we may push against them while they're busy recovering. That'd be pretty good to do. Oh, they're attacking us down here too, huh? Alright then. Yeah, we're slowly winning here. They're attacking us here. We just went over there, that's nice. Uh, guys just are not strong enough. Infantry is just not strong enough. How are these guys not losing supply? Or that much supply, huh? Is there anywhere good we could really, like, attack? I could send you guys over here, maybe.
And maybe I could push up here as well, perhaps? I'll take out the CSA, maybe? Oh my goodness, guys. Please don't kill your own soldiers off. Actually, you might be able to win. Actually, right here. Okay, I got it. Let's see. Maybe. Uh, we got some air doctrine, so we got tactical bombers already working. I will prefer a close air support. We already have tactical bombers, so. 37. It's almost 38, so. Grab some of that. You might still be able to win there, so that would actually be really, really good. Help defend and help support the attack if you can. As long as we're not losing anywhere else. We're actually winning in Indiana. That's kind of nice. Get up there. Help them out. And please don't lose here either. Come on, guys. We won that battle. Delay Doctrine. Good. And we're going to go with Mobile Defense. So we actually have quite a bit of Army XP already. Nice. Anything else around here? No. Uh, I really want to push against a CSA. Federal Front, Syndicalist Front. Yeah, let's go and do that one. It's fine with me. Oh, we can't win here because they threw a bunch of guys around here. Holy cow. You guys will actually win up there, which is fine. You're still winning and defending. Alright, Russia's doing Russian stuff. Help out, help out. If we get up to Detroit, that'd actually be really good. Thank you. Oh, the boss is there. Nice. Oh, let's get up to there. Let's go, 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 go. Get up to Detroit. Follow Detroit. The road to Michigan is now wide open. Awesome, awesome. We take Lansing and then take these areas out. That would be great. Don't let these guys move. Do not let them move. I know you guys want to move, but we cannot be allowed to move. Oh, we actually, we got over here. Nice. Very good. Crush these guys. Crush, 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 crush. Like orange crush. You guys can't reach over here, can you? Oh, you can. Nice. Very good. Actually, can we get divisions from... Yes, I knew we could get divisions from Michigan. I love Michigan. Well, sometimes. Not a lot of the time. A bunch of weirdos up there. That's alright, though. Oh, they actually have tanks. That's not, that's not good. Well, I guess you're going to hold on to Detroit, then. Um, excuse me, sir. Please hold on. You're not allowed to move. Like, literally. You're literally not allowed to move right now. Portugal is coming into the Entente. Alright. I guess these guys are still not fighting each other. Hell no. Oh, there goes Denver. Too bad for the Western Command. Alright, another thing over here. Not bad. Come on, guys. Keep keep going. You're doing a great job. Oh, come on, Russian sake. Actually, send your volunteers and keep them here. Death from above? Yes, please. We need additional range of power for our bombardment so we may strike from even further and weaken their morale while paving a path for our men. Air power is especially relevant here. So we cut them off completely from the lake. That should be enough to just, like, destroy any sense of supply that they have. Which looks like it's already taking its effect on these enemies. But unfortunately, we've got to move more quickly than what we currently got. Shore up the line. Defend against the river. Come on, guys. Please finish these guys off. And I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about that black belt. Well... Uh, please don't lose. You're not allowed to lose. I'd rather have you lose as a division then. So, what the heck? What happened here? Oh, all you guys are fighting over here. No wonder. Uh, let them come over, actually. Hold them in place, actually. Good, we got three divisions. That's exactly what I wanted. Come on, just kill these guys off. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... We got him. Move, 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 move. We got holes in the line. Even though we have Detroit, the automotive capital of what could be the world. We gotta hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, thank goodness for the soldiers there. Are we actually winning this battle too? Alright then, nice. You hold, you actually go out here. There you go. And circle that one god darn infantry division. We're still fighting down here, which is fine. They're starting to lose supply. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, militia boys. You gotta go in. And I would say I terminate with extreme prejudice, but that might already be a little redundant. Oh, what? Did we actually lose here? 
No? Alright, well. No, just the German Empire doing German Empire things. Cavalry, I need you down here. Come on, supplies gotta be so bad, right? Oh, oh wait, now we got Indiana? Okay, sure, why not? Spread guard cells, or we could get someone over here. Daily political power. I'd rather get more political power for now. Thank you, but that's where we're going to enter this episode. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully capitulate the CSA and the F and Washington, D.C. and focus a lot of attention on the American Union State. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.